This, this Sunday. Are you not know how he proposed to you then, eh? Certainly not. How does it, how does it feel to be marrying the next George? You best now. Yeah, steady, mate. Oh, come, come, come on, Jill. Let us know a bit about yourself. You're a celebrity now, you know. Don't put them off your head now. Hey, how does it feel to be a star then, eh? Hey, you look like Botticelli Venus. I got parole for good behaviour. I thought I'd surprise you. <laughs> At least he's pleased to see us. Oh, what are they like? They do my head, they like big and super blue. Just getting used to the bachelor life. And he comes landing his minty, woolly back features underneath these again. Well, I'll tell you something. I thank Christ we've got eight hours a day to give him a slip. I dread freaking retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, love. What are you doing? You didn't know you were Splendid piece of timing. Retrieving one of our old hands just as Jill's deserting us to graze pastures new. Believing? Oh, why? She's in the jackpot. Wedding bells a la carte. That was quick. Everything's arranged down to the last volleyball. Oh, yes, indeedy. Our Jill's moving up in the world. As indeed, ladies. Are we? What the frick's that? <laughs> and that's it. Apparently, we're to be the number one outlet for this product in the whole of Western Europe. Ah, oh, well, that's it then. Back to the screwdriver factory. <laughs> But you never thought you'd see the day when you'd be happy to stick your hands up a dog's ass. <laughs> Believe me, one could do a lot worse. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> oh. Well, listen, let's face it, it beats four walls of budgie and a basket of ironing. <laughs> I've got to say I'm not very happy. Well, it just seems a poor reward for all the loyalty. Tonight? But I thought they weren't due for another fortnight. Oh, well, yeah. I'll do my best. But I don't think we can keep them in the dark much longer. Come on, Jill. It'll be a full-time job dusting his cufflinks, weighing his wallet, counting the notes on his paycheck. Steady on, ladies. <laughs> Anyone would think you were enjoying yourself. Never let it be said, love. <laughs> we can move in at the end of the month. <laughs> well, I thought, you know, maybe we could have a wee bar over there, and then um, <laughs> through there we could have a games room. Oh, it's got a jacuzzi and a sauna. How do you fancy living here then? Could get used to the idea. He's miles away. Where? Oh, my mates. I won't know anyone. You make lots of friends at your new school. Oh, I don't want to change schools. I hate you when they make you wear posh uniforms. 
Why don't you go and decide what colour you want your bedrooms, eh? Black. I've, uh, been thinking. You know, uh, maybe I shouldn't be in such a hurry to give up my work, eh? How do you mean? Well, I mean, I know we don't need the money, but well, it's like the girls are a laugh and it'd give me something to do. Are you serious? Yeah. Can you imagine what the papers would pay for a story like that? Anyway, you've got this house to run. And if you get bored, there's plenty of bedrooms waiting to be filled. Well, where do you want them? Oh, uh, well, um, through there, I suppose. Yeah. I've had no notice of these coming in, no? they just turned up on the doorstep. Very unorthodox procedure. Well, I wasn't informed myself until this morning. They're not due till the end of the month. Don't blame me, love. I know nothing about it. I only work here. Do you know something, doll? It's such a comfort to me to know I can stick my feet up, take it easy. Now the real breadwinner's home. Second thoughts then. Oh. You're looking down in the dumps these days. What happened to Love's young dream? It woke up. God. What next? Return of the Jedi? Oh, you might well ask, love. I thought I'd walked into a friggin' episode of Thunderbirds. So what's the big idea, do you reckon? I'll tell you that for not, lad. Mass redundancies. You're not serious. Oh, my hog's place had this palaver. 75% of the workforce slashed. Well, he won't need us, will he? Not with this lot to twiddle the knob and pull the stopper. I don't think it could be some partnership deal with Corker Duff Associates. No, oh, ah. I mean, that's all we need, isn't it? Being frigging groped by robots as well as little men in grey suits. <laughs> well, here he is, Mr Spock himself, to give us the latest. I want to make it clear right away that I have nothing whatsoever to do with, 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 with these. I wasn't consulted, I wasn't even informed. Needless to say, I should be making my views felt at the earliest possible opportunity. Right, Rose. Start picking up your surfing's pay. Mm. Bernie, I mean, where are we supposed to fit in with these? My instructions are we to get on with our warm-up as per usual. All right, then. Come on, girls, we'll show them. We'll warm up for them. Yeah. Put tape on, Bernie. Right. Thought it were too good to be true. What? Management behaving like human beings. Shake yourselves out, girls. And get rid of that rotten breath. <laughs> Breathe in deep. Stretch. Twist to the side. Pull. Twist to the side. Pull. Let out that breath slowly. Stretch the spine. Hover and drop. I can die. I've seen it all now. Twist to the side and stretch. Twist to the side and stretch. Let it out slowly, slowly, slowly. And drop it all away. I'd rather assumed I had management status in this company. As far as I'm concerned, you do. So it seems impolite, to say the least, not to inform me of Mr McKechnie's latest plans. Mr McKechnie no longer owns this company. 
we've been taken over. When did this happen? Why wasn't I informed? I've not been at liberty to inform anyone. The new chairman wants to make all the announcements himself. Look, I am sorry, Bernie. I haven't wanted to exclude you. I'm just acting on instructions. I see. So you can't give me any assurances about future plans? They are job security, etc., etc. I can't give any assurances, full stop. It's not my place. Looks like she's well and truly sold us up the Irwell, I'm afraid. Bloody oh. charming. Gagged out for a lump of scrap metal. That thing is. I'm just beginning to have a little confidence in things. This goes to show, eh? When the drums go quiet, that's the time to look out for arrows between the shoulder blades. The joke is, is your way. Or last. What don't? The friggin' R2-D2s. Our marks place at them a month before the whole heap of scrap went on their friggin' blink. Cause the poor sodden way calls were out there keeping them company. Hey, it's all yet, girls. I mean, maybe this lot come from the same batch. Problem is, we can't wait to find out, can we? Mm. Hey, we could always give the little bleeders a nod in the right direction. <laughs> I, um, I hope you aren't intimating any kind of uh, tampering, Queenie. We don't tamper. Hmm. Boss asked us to drop round with this. Thank you very much. Hiya. Hiya. Look, love, uh, I know it's a bit out of order, but I may as well warn you. He's been dropped for Saturday's game. No. Oh, uh, Sharon, Nicky, uh, go in the other room for a minute. His head's just not in it right now. I'm sorry, it's not much of a wedding present. Yeah, you say that again. Oh, come on, love. I did warn you what you were getting if you signed up for this one. Let's hope for all our sakes this will make him pull his finger out. Look, I, I'm sorry, but when I said I'd marry him, I wasn't agreeing to be his, his mother or his nursemaid or his, well, his public relations officer. Sorry, Jill, that's exactly what you were agreeing to. You'll have to come to terms with it. He's the commodity. You don't exist. Santa's come to visit you too. <laughs> Did I tell you what I found in my stocking today? Saturday afternoon's off from now on. Gavin. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> There's plenty more parties just waiting to be discovered. I think I better take you on, lad. Bastards! Look, son, I know what it's like. You've had a lot of excitement lately. You get this wedding out of the way, you'll pick up again. Is that right? Better be. Sorry to spoil your tea, love. Now do yourself a favour, son. Stop behaving like a five-year-old.
you need is someone down here covering our backsides. What backsides are those? Smithers, you give us a turn. Oh, I'm in a bit of a quandary, Brian. You see, my husband was supposed to pick me up from this lingerie party, and he was late, so I started to walk. And I've got this nasty feeling that someone is following me. And I'm not a bit surprised, Mrs. Smithers. An attractive woman like yourself. Oh. Well, I was wondering if I could impose on your hospitality and just ring him up and see what's happened to him. Pleasure is mine, Mrs. Oh. oh, I knew I could rely on you, Brian. Did I offer you some refreshment? Oh, thank you. Oh, we haven't by any chance got any rosy and virtual flower tea, have you? So, <clears throat> sugar? I'll just give it a dog's knock, eh? No, no, no. Look, I do feel I'll be failing my duty. If it didn't remind everyone of the very catastrophic consequences we face if we caught meddling. Mm -hmm. Up till now, we're guilty only of breaking and entering. However, the moment I extricate these cutters... Could you just get on with it, please, Bernie? All right. All right. No, 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 don't harass me, please, ladies. It's a surgical operation. It requires precision What you are looking for in a show leak is a solid white girth tapering to a tight button. The flags strong and virile with no hint of rust. Which of course is where the dry dock spread and bone meal goes down such a treat. Hey, up. <coughs> Very nasty tickle, that, Mrs. Smithurst. Yeah. Oh, yes. I feel quite faint. I think it must be all them CFCs. Oh. Look, I'll just nip out and take a look around, if you'll excuse me. Oh, no. No! Um, no! Oh, no, no, no. I mean, just suppose. There is a lunatic on the prowl out there. Now, don't you fret, Mrs. Smethurst. i lock you in. But no, Brian! If you get nervous, just press that red button.
you do it. Well, you can't be too careful. <clears throat> well, you never did tell me what that red button was for. Hmm? Oh, but... it's just a precaution, really. Hotline to the nearest Nick. Well, I'd best get walking, Brian. Our Frankie can't be far behind. No, no, I mean, hang about, love. I mean, a woman of your dimensions, I mean, he's asking to be molested. Oh. Donkey! Donkey! He's called the bloody police. You are all... Listen, I'm going to shin up the fire escape and see if I can warn him before the police get here. Oh! I don't think that's a very good idea, do you, love? We wouldn't want to make him jump. It could do some damage. Evening, Chunky. We heard you were out on parole. Looking forward to being back inside again. Nob. Let's do it. I've got to say, I'm not very happy about this. Penny, we'd be a sight less happy away from our UB 40s in the breeze, you know what I'm saying? It's not like real sabotage, is it? We're just giving it a bit of a novel. I'm not sure the law would appreciate the subtlety of your distinction, love. What about the baby? What about it? I mean, she, she's got what she was after. All I've been is it, muggins. It. I come home every Friday night, stick money on the table. I might as well not exist. And how would she manage? I won't see a shop, will I? She can have the house. I'll find myself a room somewhere, start from scratch. Unless you'd had any second thoughts. Oh, babe. Fifteen years, love. Wasn't all slamming doors, was it? You look bloody gorgeous in that, you know? <laughs> Oh, What's he doing here? I've a right to be in my own house, have I? Yeah, but, uh, come Sunday it'll be my name she's getting and my roof she'll be living under. Gavin, don't interfere. Uh, hey, hey. When you know her, as well as I do, then you can come in here and start even your weight about. Ray, you're just making it worse. That's what really pisses you off, isn't it? Really pisses you off. The best man won. <laughs> Is that right, mate? The best man. Well, I hope for her sake, you're a damn sight more impressive in the sack than you were out on that pitch last Saturday. Now! Now! I want you both 
out! So, it'll be prison sentence. Criminal record. So be it. I can't have those gallant ladies taking the rap. No, I should just have to take personal responsibility for the whole sorry misadventure. You must be out of your tree, mate. I mean, even if we get suspended sentences, that's the job's gone for a burden, isn't it? And how am I going to get out of the house then? Oh, I am going to have Frankie around my neck like a friggin' limpet. You think you've got problems? There seems to be some mistake, Sergeant. My burn, it was at a whist drive all evening. No, is there no chance of bail? You surely can't expect respectable women to spend the night in your cell. In my experience, sir, respectable women don't get caught red-handed with torches and industrial pliers. I mean, you're not going to charge them. I don't think we've got any choice in the matter, Mr. Ace, do you? Oh, I shall never be able to hold my head up at the Rotary Club again. Oh, where is she? How the bloody hell going on here? Look, can I suggest that we none of us get abusive? Why are you shoving, pal? Eh, hey, hello, Chuck. Now, listen. Nobody treats my wife like a common criminal. She's a modern-day Joan of Arc, that woman. She's a bloody credit to the Union. And I'd like to see anybody that can keep that Amazon on a lock and key. You've been drinking, sir. There's no law against shoving a few jars down your neck, is there? There's no law against me shoving you down there. Where is that? Hmm, aye. Who's going to put me in the lad? PC Beagle. Right. Frankie, let's get some All right, big off. No! Fancies a rook. I'm sure PC Beagle will be happy to accommodate you. Oh. All right, now you come. Oh, what's happening then? Apparently, your new boss, whoever he may be, decided not to press charges. You're joking. Nah, sounds a bit short on top of you, actually. Well, that's his business. Sorry we couldn't run some mascara, Queenie. You put up a good show, though. Gosh, Liz. Do you all look all right? Of course, I don't think I need to tell you how lucky you all are. You could have been doing six months apiece. Luckily, you don't seem to have done much damage to the equipment. Back to square one, then. The new chairman will want your assurance that nothing of the kind will ever happen again. Well, can I have his assurance that I'm not going to come in one morning and find two tonne of scraps sat in my chair? Oh, well, I think that's something you better ask him in person. <clears throat> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you've all been very patient. I've finally been given permission to give you some concrete news. As you've probably suspected, We've been taken over. <laughs> anyway, I won't waste any more precious time. I'd like now to introduce our new chairman. <laughs> Mr. Kim Soo Young of Soo Young and New Line Electronics. Babies, 
What the frig's that? It's alcohol free wine. It's had it shipped in from Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? If you've all got a drink. Oh, thank you. I'd like to propose a toast to our new chairman. No, no, no. Uh, comrade, if you please. We are all comrades here. Yes. Cheers, comrade. Cheers, Cheers comrade. comrade. It's a pista. <laughs> and to um, introduce you right away to what we envisage will become a regular part of our working day. The company song. across the billiard table, trying to pop me in off the top cushion. I'm afraid you're going to have to curb your order for a moment, love. The bride's just waving goodbye to her dinner. I'm going to do the thing. I don't know what possessed her. She's not usually this bad with her alcohol. How's she doing? Oh. 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 Oh, I think we better get her a taxi. Stomach pump wouldn't come amiss either. Lord knows how she's supposed to stand up straight in church tomorrow. I think that's part of the problem. Come in. Time for your next fix, doll. Hey, thanks for stopping with us last night. Did I do anything, um, outrageous? Jill, for a girl in your situation, I thought you were remarkably restrained. Do you mind? We're not on our way to Wembley, you know. Did you say that, Jane? Okay. Sharon, could you fly us on a pan of egg and fried bread, girl? Mm, nice to see your appetite has come back. <laughs> but old maids, girl, we couldn't be part of for long. <laughs> Do you know me? 
I married that junkie for 500 quid and two frickin' cupids. <laughs> How much is your transfer fee, Jill? Look, Queenie, if you've something to say, I'd be grateful if you'd just come out with it. Not me, doll. I'm saying nothing. I was just thinking, though, if you're that chores a summer to baby says Agado, we stick you on me rosette starting three months from now. Look, if I hear one more crack about cradle snatching... Go away, girl. It's not the age, is it? I mean, you could still be wiping the snot from the face when they're 50. The point is, do you need it? The answer's got to be yeah, hasn't it? I'm a natural pisshead. You're the natural mother. I mean, why don't we start giving each other lessons, eh? Would you mind helping me on with my dress? Let's see ya. Oh, girl, you look lovely. It's just the right outfit for a christening. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, Gary's here. What, now? You can't see him, Mum. It's bad luck. See you. Make sure you haven't changed your mind. I'll uh, see you at church. Hello, Jessica. Hey. My God, mother has brought some colour to his cheeks, eh? Oh, he wouldn't swap it for the world, would you, love? No, love. In fact, he's that well into it now. We're thinking of going in for another, aren't we, love? Yes, love. Can't be seen on a dance floor in a pair of kecks that have done 20 years, can you? Dance floor? Don't tell us you're uh, planning to surprise us with a bit pasta doble. Oh, well, why not, eh? Come on, lovely show. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Right, right, eh? Hey. Bride or groom? Bride. Thank you. Bride or groom? Right. City supporter.
Well, I've uh, known brides be a lot later than this. Him that have been dropped from the team, not her, eh? business studies. Gavin Michael Patrick, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep only unto her so long as you both shall live? I will. J. 
Gillian Susan, do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all other, keep only unto him so long as you both shall live? <laughs>